for idle tuning. Let's now jump in to tuning and now let's talk about our idle control. A few things with our idle control. Engine functions, let's go to idle speed control. Now, in our main idle target table, we are targeting here between 50, 60 Celsius. We're targeting roughly 1,900, should be about 950 for the target. In looking at this, we actually can see here, 940 for the target. The idle position is sitting here in open loop at 31% duty cycle. The idle target error here is showing um, about 12% or 12%, 12 to 5 RPM. And it's pretty close. Zero RPM means we're exactly on to where we want to be for the desired idle speed. So we're pretty close. What this is telling us is that the base idle position value, that feed forward duty cycle value that the closed loop will start off with, is really, really close. We're starting off in open loop so we can establish our base percentage duty cycle values at various different RPM targets. Now, how do we go and solidify that table so it's 100%? So how do we know that the values are 100%? Well, using our escape button here, we can go to our idle the initial position table, and we can see our values here between 30 and looks like here 33% are pretty accurate. Now it's not getting us to exactly where we want for the idle speed. So let's do this. I'm gonna go in and start to bring my idle speed down. We'll go as low as about 700 and then we'll walk our idle up every 100 RPM and we're gonna learn, we're gonna go in and populate what the duty cycle value needs to be here for the table. So let's go in here to the main idle target. Let me demonstrate this real quick. To make this really easy, since we're on a warm engine right now, I'm gonna highlight all this and I'm gonna set it as low as 700. Now, I want to idle as low as 700. If we take a look, the idle RPM here is at roughly 840, 850. We can see the target here is 700, and we're about a, a negative uh, 150 RPMs too high. If we go here to the initial position table, that means we need to bring these values down. Let's put a value here of 25%. Now our idle speed's really, really dropped. We can see it's at roughly 600, where we want 700. So 25 is going to be too low. Let's bring this up to something like 27. That's a little bit better. Let's bring it to 28. That's gonna be pretty much spot on here. So 28 gets us to roughly 700 with a very small idle target RPM index. Let's try to figure out what then 800 needs to be. So if we go here to the position table or the target table, we'll set it at 800. Now, we're at roughly 800. 30% duty cycle gets us to 800. So that looks good right there for that value. We're gonna go here and try 900 now. Let's go to set our position target table here at 900. So at a 900 RPM target, we are not going to get there yet. We need to go and bump up this duty cycle. We're about 60 RPM off. So if I go here and I put it at something like 31% duty cycle, gets me closer, 32 is probably gonna get me spot on. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.